Hello, I'm OBX Toycat and welcome back to Q&A Saturday. This is a weekly series I run on my channel where I answer your questions about the next big update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. We're currently calling that next big Minecraft console update, title update 25 or 26, but either way, I get these questions from the comments section of last week's video. So if you want to leave any comments for next week's Q&A Saturday, please do leave them in the comments down below. That's where I get all of these questions from. And also while you're down there, please do like the video if you do like it. It helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it. Let's get straight into this though and I'll just quickly point out that I do have a higher than average number of like personal slash channel questions mixed in here that just kind of happens and that's how this series works it's a mix of both so just in case you're like aren't dates only then just a heads up on that one anyway let's get straight into this with the first question which comes in from I am not known nice name by the way who says hashtag Q&A will there be any secret features we don't know about and can't guess and this is a you know reasonably good question because every update has had these secret features before and uh, you might recall back when title update 19 came out I did like the secret features and update thing because the changelog seems to miss quite a lot of these features and a lot of those features are things we wouldn't even expect so it's really cool to go in and find out when the update comes out you might think you know everything but in fact there's lots of stuff that you know we just don't know about uh, the last update for instance uh, you, you know they changed the textures on the wood blocks they did a few other you know things like that the uh, baby zombie they did some weird things with that there are quite a few secret features hidden in there and I really like these so yeah the uh, there will be some secret features in the next update I can almost guarantee and I hope there's going to be quite a lot of them because I really enjoy searching for these secret features and I imagine a lot of you do too. So that's the answer to this first question. Uh, let's move on to the second question which comes in from Chandon Lynx who asks hashtag Q&A. Do you think they will ever have a YouTuber skin pack with their permission of course? And I get this question so much and you can see here it has seven up up YouTubes? What What do you even call a YouTube upvote? But seven thumbs up, seven up YouTubes is, um, up YouTubes has to be the new name. That's uh, that's uh, kind of ridiculous but I like it anyway. So yeah, this, uh, you know, this comment is one that I get so much and it's the most popular request for a skin pack. But even though it is the most popular request uh, for a skin pack, I don't think that means it's going to be made. And that might sound kind of illogical, like, wait a minute, Toy Cat, don't they want to make the most popular ones? But the problem with a YouTuber skin pack is twofold. First of all, if they were going to make it, it they couldn't really use console YouTubers. Because if it was console YouTubers, which are what most uh, console guys uh, you know, kind of watch, uh, then they can't really do it. Because if you think about my console skin on uh, Minecraft, it is just a skin you can already get. Like, Skin Pack 5, I think that's where my Ocelot skin comes from. Os uh, skin Pack 5 is kind of a YouTuber skin pack already, and, you know, uh, the Summer of Arcade skin packs are YouTube skin pack, and if you think about all these YouTubers, they have skin packs that are already in the game. And that means that a YouTuber skin pack is kind of redundant. If you mean PC skins, which is what someone suggested also, then it's kind of like you still have to go with the issue of, like, the YouTubers that are big when their skin packs are made aren't going to be big in a few years time and whenever 4J makes skin packs they're always kind of forward thinking like their skins are ones that will last for a very long time because Minecraft is a game that is going to last for many 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 years and uh, yeah they want to think forwards rather than having like you know you be in three years be like who are these YouTubers I've never heard of any of them so yeah that's the answer to your question there probably won't be a YouTuber skin pack I'd like to believe there will be one at some point but it doesn't look very likely because there's a lot of big issues and technically every skin pack as a YouTuber skin pack in a, a kind of a beautiful sense if you will anyway next question comes in from at Emma, Emma Gilbert, Gilbert 06 sorry I can't pronounce that on uh, the uh, Twitters and she or he asks uh, hash uh, at IBX Toycat, hashtag Q&A, will we be getting more big updates like this one? And the way I assume that is asked, by the way, you can ask these on Twitter too, but um, the, the I assume the way that's asked is like, after this next big update, title update 25 or 26, are we going to get any more updates or is that the last one? And there is definitely going to be more updates. Minecraft console has a very exciting future ahead of it, and whether they're going to be this size of update again, like, because this is looking to be a big one, or whether they'll be bigger or smaller is beyond me, but it, I will say it is looking like the update's going to get bigger and bigger, because on the PC, they've slowed down updates to make bigger ones. On the console, we it was nine months between updates last time. This one looks like it's going to be eight months between updates. There's a long time between updates to make bigger updates, and whether that's a good change or not, you might not agree, but there is definitely going to be more of these bigger updates. So, that's a good, uh, that's the answer to your question. I I said that's a good answer. I guess I can compliment myself like that. But let's move on to the next question, which comes in from TL Divine, and uh, this is one that clearly must come from someone who's uh, either like you know news the channel and watched the oldest Let's Play, or is very very you know old around old around here. You know has been here for a while. And that, uh, he asks, will you ever play on BIPCQ again? I like that Let's Play more than the Update Adventures. And there is a quick story I have to explain behind this one. BIPCQ, which I just made because I had a random name for the world. I, I made that the day Minecraft came out for the 360. 
360. And it was my first Let's Play that kind of took me from like 200 subscribers to like maybe five, ten thousand. It was a very big, very serious part of my channel. And the cool idea behind the Let's Play was I'm going to record every single thing that happens in this world. Like, I'm not ever going to play in this world if I'm not recording. And I figured it'd be a cool way to like play Minecraft passively through me, you know, in a, in a kind of way. And it's a cool enough idea. I, li I like it in some circumstances, but that a lot of people didn't like how much mining was involved because obviously there is so much mining involved with, you know, playing a world like that. And although it was a really cool idea and there's a lot of cool things in that world that I'll kind of miss forever and it's I'm going to be nostalgic about that forever, I don't think it's a good idea to start it up again. So, yeah, but, uh, the old Let's Play, I probably won't come back. To, I'll come back to it every now and then to, like, check up what's going on. But I think this update Adventures World, the one you're seeing in the background right now, that is uh, my favorite Let's Play world, and I'm, you know, I'm going to hope to continue that, uh, you know, series for as long as I possibly can. Anyway, next question uh, comes from Dr. Venomous Copra, and it was one I'd kind of forgotten about until he asked it, because he asked, whatever happened to the Far Cry mashup pack that 4J teased? And although we never knew it officially as the Far Cry mashup pack, if you do not recall, and I wouldn't blame you if you don't, because it was eight months ago and a tiny bit of detail, uh, when they were doing interviews regarding Minecraft Xbox One, they were showing off some screenshots from the game, and a few of those screenshots, uh, one of them was from a texture pack which came out afterwards but one of them was using a bunch of skins and a texture pack we still to this day in a, you know almost a year maybe a, even a full year later have not seen anything from it's just and, and they you know the what people guessed and what i would guess is that it was a far cry mashup pack i have no idea what happened to that mashup pack it just kind of vanished from the world and <laughs> it's it's so weird it was like you know it was it, it was never officially announced we just kind of saw it by accident like they must have accidentally leaked it and we still haven't seen anything of it so i think what this means is that 4j must develop quite a few mashup packs, skin packs and texture packs and then maybe never get round to using them if they don't get licensing and maybe for some reason Ubisoft had a change of heart or they never gave the agreement for it and Either that, or it's coming out at some point in the future. But I imagine what actually has happened there is, you know, they lost the, uh, you know, the rights to license it, so it's just sitting there unused forever. Maybe at some point someone will find it in the game files, and that would be really cool. But right now, the Far Cry mashup pack is inaccessible to everyone, which is a shame because that's a cool enough idea. So yeah, let's move on to the next question, which is from the Rage Gamer two hundred hashtag Q and A. Will we ever get new portals in Minecraft for all consoles? And I assume you mean PC and stuff, because right now we have, you know, the end portal and the nev portal and the reason that we probably won't get new ones and the reason they've kind of stuck where they are for a while is the overworld is, you know, like, the real world in real life. The uh, the nether, if you can't sell, is kind of like the hell in real life. Like, it's a very helly place. Everything's on fire. There's the ghasts. That it, it's a very, very scary place. It's meant to be like hell. And then the end was going to be what was previously the aether, which is kind of like heaven. It kind of transitioned into this boss dimension that's now kind of more purgatory-like. So you could argue there is still space for the aether. However, because of how similar it is to the end, I think unless they have some serious ideas, and maybe this next update will be the one they have some ideas with, uh, then we probably won't be seeing that for a while. So there's no confirmation yet, but I think the Aether coming back, or, you know, the Sky Dimension coming back is still a possibility at some point, and I keep my fingers crossed for it, even if I don't think it's too likely. So yeah, that's the answer to your question. Next question comes in from GMO Gamer, uh, like, genet genetically modified organism gamer, maybe? I don't know, but uh, he asks, how long does it take for you to make videos every day? Also, stay awesome, bro. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. So how long does it take me to make videos every day? This is uh, kind of a tricky question, because because obviously it depends on what videos I'm making that day. But a typical kind of day schedule for me is if I'm making, you know, two videos, which is kind of my schedule these days, um, is it takes me from about waking up uh, anywhere from like, you know, eight to ten, depending on, you know, I, I, I kind of just let myself wake up sometimes. But anywhere from eight to ten, it usually takes me to about three in the afternoon. And that's if I have some, you know, video ideas ready. Because uh, some videos, it's like there's a lot of preparation involved and there's lots of like, you know, finding out, making sure everything's right. Uh, so yeah, it can take, uh, I guess that would be, wait five hours two videos about two and a half hours for a video that sounds about right this one here will probably take me about uh two hours total uh, actually once you include the uh, render times about two and a half three hours so yeah two and a half hours is pretty accurate uh, if I make like three or four videos a day, it does just take the entire day from me, and then it'll be like 10 p.m. It, it's in fact it's 11 p.m. right now, but that's because I was lazy early. But like it'll be 11 p.m. And I'll be like, oh, I just went the, the day went by. It does take a long time to make videos. It's kind of point I'm getting across here. I don't know why I'm going so much detail. Uh, but about two and a half hours of a video is kind of a rough estimate in case you really want to know. And it is something I really enjoy doing. So it's not something I mind doing. And I'm like, you know, if it, if if it's like 6 p.m. and I'm still making videos, sometimes to me that's like this is really cool. I'm I'm doing I I'm really 
really enjoying the fact that I've just worked the whole day, and that's why I do YouTube and why it's so cool. So I don't know if I answered more than the question or if I didn't answer the question, but hopefully that did answer something. Anyway, next question, let's move on from that one, comes in from CR. Free free P uh, creepers ah that's what it is gaming uh, who asks hashtag Q and A will large biome uh, be coming in the next update even if just not next gen and this is one I've been contemplating in my head for the longest time because if you don't know large biomes is a world type on the PC which makes biomes a lot bigger and I think it would be pretty cool to have on the console in some regard. But I don't think, it. even on the PC, it has very little use. On the console, it would have even less use. So last gen, almost definitely not getting it. Next gen, probably not getting it. I think a small biome as world type would make a lot more sense. Because, you know, compared to the size of a 360 or PS3 side world, the, uh, you know, a regular size biome is pretty large. Uh, so yeah, I think it, potentially just to even out the consoles of the PC. But even then, I'm kind of doubtful. So, given that we're getting, you know, uh, custom super flats, given we're probably getting amplified, maybe they'll add it in there just to make a complete set. But even if it does come out, it's not something to look forward to too much. It's like an interesting feature, not really a nice feature. But yeah, that's kind of the answer to your question. Next question comes in from Cheese Tooth Gaming, who asks, hashtag Q&A Saturday. I know I don't have to, but I did, because you don't have to have to hashtag Q&A Saturday. But if you could pick one exclusive mob to come to the console out of these, what would it be? One... Warus. Two, Llama. Three, Fishman Village. I don't know why I'm being so dramatic. Four, Unicorn. Or five, Penguin. Because six is none, but it's never going to be none. So honestly, out of these uh, five, as much as I want to say Llamas, because, you know, me and my Llamas, we we have a special connection, me and Llamas. But uh, honestly, I think it would probably be the... The, the walrus, I think, because you could get some interesting items for the walrus, like maybe it has walrus fat, which, like, cooks a furnace longer than, uh, you know, blaze rods. Uh, you could have just an interesting, like, you know, kind of really bit difficult boss fight in the ice biomes. So you think you're safe, and then suddenly a walrus jumps out from the ice. I think that'd be pretty cool. I really want to see more mobs uh, on the consoles and in the PC in general, and I think having, like, exclusive mobs for each biome is the way forward. I probably mentioned that idea about a thousand times now, but it's, it's a seriously good idea. At least I would think that about my own idea. Anyway, let's move on to the next question, which comes in from Blizzard X Murky, who asks, will you ever try another game besides Minecraft? I think it will help your channel grow even bigger by having Minecraft as the main game you play and other games as side games. I would be interested in seeing that. So the answer to this one is whenever a new game or new thing comes out, I like to play it. Because that's when I think, you, even if you're not that interested in that game, you might be interested in seeing the video to see what's up there. Uh, if if I don't think people are going to be interested in a video, I won't, I won't, I don't do this thing where a lot of YouTubes do, where they kind of force the videos down your throat. It feels a bit weird, where it's like, I will not upload this, so you're going to watch it, damn it. Like, that, that feels strange to me. So, instead what I do is I have a second channel where I upload, like, other games if I want to, you know, whether it be Call of Duty, whether it be the Minecraft PC, whether it be, I think I'm going to start a Fallout play for it some point because Fallout 4 is coming out soon but yeah I think on the main channel I stick to what's new and I stick to what you want like you know the best combination of old and new I don't want to be playing a game from 2003 that no one cares about I'd rather be playing the game that you want to see and you know doing stuff about that and I really enjoy what I do in my channel so that's the answer to your question anyway that was the last question we had this week I well we had you know like a lot of questions we didn't get around to like answering but like these are the 10 questions I'm answering this week I hope you did enjoy the video please do like it if you did like it share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I do videos like this every single day on my channel. I know it's been really dark in the background for a bit, but I, I, I was kind of lost. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I hope you'd enjoy it. I'll see you all in the next video.